Are you looking for the best dog muzzles in your budget? Well, in today's video we break down the top 5 best dog muzzles. I made this list based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about this product, you can check out the description below and also make sure you subscribe for more reviews. Okay so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Crazy Felix Nylon Dog Muzzle. While most dogs will probably have the issue that their snouts are a touch too short for the muzzle, some dogs have the opposite problem. For dogs with very long snouts, this very breathable, very flexible option may be the way to go. This is a lightweight dog muzzle made entirely of nylon mesh, which means that wearing it all day should be no problem. The lip in front allows you to administer treats if you're training your dog on socialization. Drinking water is also no problem at all. Due to the nature of this particular muzzle, it's not a great choice for high-stress environments with other unfamiliar dogs. In fact, the best use for this may be to prevent your dog from licking everyone, if that's a concern for you. Moving on at number 4. We have the JYHY Short Snout Dog Muzzle. Dogs with very short snouts require special muzzles since most models are designed to fit around a longer snout. For our flatter-faced friends, these mesh mask style muzzles can do the job. The full coverage means that biting and chewing will be restricted, preventing injury to either you, other dogs, or your furniture. Mesh construction means that drinking and ventilation are no problem, so these can be worn for relatively long periods of time. It is possible for your dog to eat while wearing this muzzle, but the narrow opening for the nose means it will be a fairly slow process. Based on some pugs of met, that might not necessarily be a downside. This particular model comes in gray or orange, in either full mesh or eyehole configuration. That may take some trial and error to determine which works best for your dog. If the eyeholes don't line up, full mesh is the way to go, but your dog may not approve of having something over the entire face. Or maybe you want to choose based on whether you want your dog to look like a pilot or a fencer. At number 3, we have the Collar Direct Leather Pitbull Dog Muzzle. While basket muzzles are a great choice for a number of reasons, many owners of dogs with block heads know that the inflexible muzzle can interfere with a dog's jaw and therefore not fit as snugly as needed. This option from Collar Direct, who make a number of leather and nylon muzzles, offer this custom-made muzzle for combination stocky muzzles and broad heads. These are tailor-fit to dogs with a snout 14 inches in circumference and 3 inches long, which should cover most pitbull and pitbull adjacent breeds. These are training muzzles, which means they really won't allow your dog to eat or drink while they wear them, and therefore shouldn't be worn all day. There's also no padding on the leather, so using these for short bursts is best. The strap at the neck is adjustable to fine-tune it for your dog, and there's a collar loop on the top that will keep it in place. Otherwise, this is a full coverage muzzle which includes the straps across the jaw to ensure your dog can't slip out of it from the bottom. These are relatively thin leather, so it's a good idea to keep this away from your dog when they aren't wearing it, lest they chew it up. A very strong and determined dog may also be able to tear the rivets out at the junctions, though this should be very, very rare. At number 2, we have the Good Boy Gentle Muzzle Guard for dogs. When it comes to small dog muzzles, a loop muzzle may be a better choice. While basket muzzles do allow more freedom of movement and can let dogs eat, they are rarely small enough to prevent smaller dogs from barking. Loop muzzles are meant to fit snugly at the base of the dog's snout to restrict movement, which will curb barking, nipping, and unwanted chewing. These are a good option for dogs with barking or chewing issues, as well as the curb aggressive behavior. Putting them on can also be much easier, as this is a simple loop with a neck latch. You need to make two adjustments, one at the neck and one at the loop, to secure this on your dog. The loop itself features thick padding, which is necessary because for these to work properly, they need to be quite tight. Some dog owners fit them somewhat loosely, which defeats their intended purpose. Still, it's understandable that some people are hesitant to over-tighten, so keep this in mind when deciding. The Velcro on the loop is meant primarily to eliminate flapping excess straps, 
but can also be used as a final adjustment. The placement of the end of the Velcro over the top is convenient for use but can also mean that most dogs who aren't used to it will be able to separate the Velcro sides with nose swipes. And finally at number 1. We have the Baskerville Ultra Muzzle. Possibly the most popular option on the market. The Baskerville Ultra Muzzle is the upgraded version of the traditional basket muzzle the company offers. The most important distinction between the two of them is the material the basket itself is made from, which can be heated and perfectly formed to your particular dog. The basket is also the more modern style with openings at the top and bottom for easy feeding and drinking. There are no hard plastic straps beyond the basket, which can make this more comfortable. This also means the basket is relatively short, which means that dogs can get their claws into the bottom of it and pull it off that way, so the collar loop really must be used to make it as effective as possible. Still, the straps are neoprene lined and when the loop is used, this is a very secure option, particularly with the optional overhead strap. There are six sizes available, as well as your choice of black or tan colors. This is the one we have for my blue nose pit, which we use when my wife walks him because he's very protective of her. It took a while for him to adjust to it and he absolutely will pull it off if we don't use the collar loop, but for the most part, we've been happy with it and feel it's robust enough for a powerful dog. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.